All right, guys, this is going to be a quick little demonstration of my demo viewer tool. You can download it and install it by just placing the executable in your Quake 3 directory. And from there, you just run it. But let's start off by loading in some demos. So we can hit this load button and navigate to our demos directory. Start off with FPS Cup Round 6. So when you load in the first demo, it'll load in the associated map along with its textures. And you can keep adding more demos from there. So let's add a few here. Uh, yeah, and once the demos are loaded in, uh, you can basically just play through them. So this is kind of what you saw in my DFWC videos. Uh, but in the actual tool, you have controls, so you can play and pause, you can restart, you've got uh, timescale options. So you can speed up the playback, uh, put things in slow-mo, and you can also reverse time. So that's all pretty cool. Uh, but taking things a bit further... So there's an even easier way of uh, zooming through the demos. And if you take a look at my mouse here, when you hover towards the top, uh, you get a timeline. So the timeline has markers for the start and the ends of the runs, along with checkpoints. And you can hover over these markers, and you get a nice little breakdown. So here we can see the checkpoint differences, along with the uh, player speeds at that time. So the nice thing about the timeline is you can just click on it, and you jump to that part of the demo. So you can slide this left and right and kind of zoom your way through the demos to whatever part you want to get to. So that is pretty cool. But I've added even more. Uh, but for this next part, let me uh, load in another map. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is you can actually switch who you're following from here as well as remove any demos. But here we're going to remove all the demos and jump to round five. And another thing I should mention is you don't even have to use the file picker. You can actually just drag and drop demos. So I'll do that right here. So let me drag and drop these. It'll load in the other map along with the demos. So the uh, the top-down trail mode, pretty cool. That was the the main visual you saw in my uh, in my videos. But you know this is defrag and defrag serious business for a couple people, and they want the deeper analysis. They want to see the tiny details, and you can't really see the tiny details in this mode. So there's another mode, and I'll jump into that right now. So uh, bam, first person view. So in this other mode, you now see the bounding boxes of players, along with their speeds, and you see where projectiles land. So here you can here you can see some plasma shots along with uh, rockets. And uh, we're in first-person view, but you can scroll out, and you're in a third-person view now. So it gives you a different perspective on things. And here we can see more plasma shots, and watching, and we can watch these players climb. Uh, but yeah, everything still works in this mode. So you can use the timeline. You can swap between players. Here we can see really tight race between Crazy Al and Hayes. Uh, but yeah. There's those two modes, but there's one more. There's free cam. So free cam lets you just fly around the map. You don't have to follow an individual player, and you can see things play out from uh, a different point of view. Uh, here, for instance, we can see Knight going way high up with his plasma climb. Uh, but yeah, that's free cam, and pretty cool to fly around, see how the demos play out. But that is the other mode, the other analysis mode. And you can freely switch between these modes by just hitting the bind or hitting the buttons at the top. And yeah, hopefully that is useful for some people for breaking down the demos. Uh, some things I should mention are the maps themselves, may they might not render the exact same because I'm not replicating the entire Quake 3 shader language. I do, uh, I do parse the shaders. And I pull out things like custom texture maps and custom light maps. But if a, if a shader is using like multi-pass stages or custom blending functions, that stuff doesn't get picked up. So those surfaces might look a little weird. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I think that's everything I wanted to show off. So hopefully some people find this useful and it works for them. And if you download it and it doesn't work for you, I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> I tried my best. Uh, but no, if there are any errors or crashes, I'll, uh, I'll see if I can get around to fixing them.
hopefully there aren't any there isn't anything too seriously wrong with this and uh, before I leave we'll uh, we'll witness crazy Al lose his lead right here so I guess Hayes takes an extra rocket oh yeah I got him with that extra rocket there oh that's always rough yeah that's that's a rough way to go out <laughs> yeah that's too bad solid 13th place for Hayes crazy Al c coming in last Another day, another time. Uh, but yeah, so hopefully uh, you enjoy it, and thanks for watching.